Let me build the top piece, right? Some of you have seen this before, which is good. So this should be easy to, to create for those of you that have seen little train models before. So I stop, start in the top plane and I go to sketch. I highly recommend you work off the middle, not off the end. So make something that somewhat vaguely, you see how vague that is, resembles your base. The dimensions for your base are here. The back wall is 1.8 wide. From the side wall to the center, you can take that 1.8. Remember what I've shown you in the past, you can do the math. Just divide it by two. See that? And your distance from here to here is one. This dimension is right there, 0.25. Now I'm going to be lazy. Instead of dimensioning this side, what am I going to do? Mirrors. No, it's already there. Instead of dimensioning that side, what am I going to do? Because it's right here. Say it one more time. Make it equal to the other. Yes, I agree. <coughs> So I'm going to do it the quick way by holding my control key down, picking my one line, picking my other line, and then on my left side, I'll have my option for equal right there. Hit OK. Done. It's fully defined. I'm done. That's your first one. Notice I intentionally centered it. I intentionally centered it with my plane. Whenever you have symmetry, do that. Because later on I'm going to add stuff and I might want a mirror. Why would I want to add an additional plane? I'm too lazy for that. I don't want to add an additional plane to mirror when I have an existing plane I can utilize. Got it? So when you see symmetry, always work off your existing planes. Make life easier for yourself. Next, what do I do? I forgot. Reference geometry? Yep. Reference geometry. I'm going to add a plane. I'm going to pick this plane, and it's going to go up the height of <clears throat> total height, which is three quarters of an inch right here. 0.75. Okay? See that? We're going to hit OK. And then I'm going to rinse and repeat a new sketch up here. I'm going to go to normal two. And now I'm going to go ahead. <coughs> and build my other object with equal attention to my line locations. You notice that? It's roughly there. Got it? And then I'm going to go ahead and constrain my dimensions correctly. The top is 1.2. <coughs> From one end to the center, it's that divided by 2. Got it? I'm going to be, again, lazy to mention this. What side of that? What's the Point seven five. Okay. Now, I got this two, I got this two, and this two. I can do equal right here. So I made a current element, an element in my current sketch, okay? a line in my current sketch. I made it equal to a line in a sketch I already have on my drawing. Did you notice that? Yes. Did I need to be in both sketches? No. Physically impossible. You can only have one sketch active at a time. But I can make an element out of one sketch equal to an element in another sketch. Isn't that beautiful? The ultimate form of laziness. It's called efficiency. Got it? One dimension affects everything. Isn't that beautiful? So when you see those people doing those demos, that's what they did. All that background work. It's kind of like when you watch California choppers and make a motorcycle in 30 minutes on TV, right? You don't see all the background work, right? So that's what we're doing. We're putting the background work in. That's going to make this drawing easier to modify. 
Cool? Unless the customer says, hey, I want the top a different length to the bottom, then, of course, you've got to break the relationships. Cool? And that's it. I think we're good with this. We hit OK. Get out of this. There I have my top sketch, my bottom sketch. Sketch one, sketch two. Now, it's just a function of law. Now remember, it matters where you put your mouse, right? You learned that with the key. So if I pick, <clears throat> my profiles are, are the easy part. I pick this profile, but I'm going to be random. Notice what I'm going to do. Watch my mouse. I'm going to pick this side. Notice what it did. Holy cannoli, twisted it, right? That's not what you want. Where you pick your other profile matters. Remember that. So all you got to do is delete that one. Okay, and I just pick this dude, and poof, I got what I want. Remember that. Got it? So if you want it to twist, you can. <coughs> now you know how. Cool. You pick different <coughs> points, and it'll twist the object. In our case, that's not what we want. <coughs> Hit OK. There's our base shape. Okay, now, you all see that it's hollow, right? It's hollow. If you look at the drawing. <clears throat> ah, uh-oh. <coughs> if you look at this drawing, you realize it's got a little wall thickness, it's hollow inside. And you see the picture down here where it shows you. It's hollow. Now, you can make this hollow inside only like a chocolate bunny or a Cadbury, those Cadbury eggs, with the clucking bunny, right? Commercials with the bunny that's clucking. Or you can leave it open. Got it? In our case, we want that bottom open. Remember I told you, SolidWorks is subtle, right? Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things I will say to you, whenever you have to shell an object, especially if the thickness is typical, which it is in this case, it's all 0 0.10 mm -hmm. typical, before you add any features, now you shell. Did you hear that? You shell first, then you add your cuts and whatnot not the other way around. The only time you do it the other way around is if the cut has to be visible on both sides. If there's like an indentation, like a boss situation, embossed, like coffee cups, open. So, guess what? When you go to shell, the thickness is here, point one. What's missing and what's not well understood is even if you put your mouse here, <coughs> you have to put your mouse thanks, over the word, over the little picture. Because if you put your mouse in here, oh, it does show up. Faces to remove, meaning what face you want removed. What I typically see people do, though, because how many of us just Click, 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 click away. How many times have you heard me say, stop it, you're moving your mouse too much. Please stop, stop clicking. I've had people do the following. Okay, well I want thickness here, here, whoops, I gotta get back in the command. I want thickness here, 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 and here, right? Because that's what you think you're picking, right? The faces you want to affect. When you hit OK, you end up with a baseball diamond. A bad one. Got it? The faces you're picking are the faces you're removing. Make sense? So don't do it. It's the opposite of what you think it is. You think it's faces you're affecting. No, you want it the face that you want to eliminate. So you just pick the bottom wall. When you hit OK, then you end up with what you want. 
<coughs> a hollow object. Cool? <coughs> With an opening on one end. Sorry. Then you can add everything else. Someone was asking, well, how do I add these in, these insets? Okay, right here, those step-ins. So, well, the nice part is because this is flat, just pick the face. Create a sketch. My opinion, instead of drawing the shape, <clears throat> because it says it's 0.10 typical from the edge, I would just use the offset command if it was me. Right here. See that? And instead of going out, I would reverse it to go in. Did you see that? Because it takes the perimeter and just does it. And there's the distance right there, point on. Then you can go ahead and cut it. Now it cuts in. <clears throat> if the total thickness is 0.1, and it's saying the wall thickness here is 0.05, what's the cut in? 0.1 minus 0.05. Which happens to be what? 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Get it? Okay. Or you can do the math, remember? Remember how we showed you this before? 0.1 minus 0 0.05. It's the same number I'm just showing you. When you hit OK, you got this cut in. Remember I told you it's good to have the symmetry thing going on? Because now, I can just go ahead and do what? Do I need to build this again on this side? What should I do? Say it louder? Mirror. Mirror it, exactly. So my mirror plane's already there. <clears throat> my feature to mirror is right there. And I hit OK. <laughs> Done. Fast. No. Oh, I got to add another plane. Then I'll go ahead and mirror it. That is why it's important to know what you're doing to kind of plan your drawing out up front, got it? When you see symmetry in your model, you should always think, I'm gonna start <coughs> in the middle of it, got it? When you're building it, in relationship to an existing plane, <coughs> right? Because that gives you opportunity that you otherwise won't have. <coughs> so there's that, and you see how it doesn't affect anything on the inside. And on the back end is your typical Circles. You know how to draw those. Um, got one through the middle, one over here, one over here. I'm being sloppy. If I pick all three of them, I'll put them equal to each other, right? What's the diameter on those pins, guys? I can't hear you. What? Point one two five. Got it. So the diameter of these is point one two five. I'm going to throw in a center line reference between this piece and this piece, so that way, and I'm going to make sure it's horizontal, which it is. That way, they stay together. See that? That's how I get that done. If I go normal to, I'll see it head on. You see how I now I move this? They move together this way, and let's see. How about the other way? Now they're pretty static. That's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and smart dimension from here to the center. What's that dimension? 0.625. And then from from here to here? 1.25. No, 1.25, you're correct. 1.25. The distance from here to here? 0.5. And then the distance from here to the bottom wall? 180. What is it? It's the 180. No, it's right here. 0.125. All right, now the only question is why is this still blue? 
Oh, look, look, it moves. And then we lock it in. Now it's locked in. Now it's fully defined. Now I can go ahead and extrude them. They are how long? Nice, how far? Oh, there it is. Point one two five. And okay. little chamfers on them, 0.01 chamfers. <coughs> you go to chamfer, 0.01. All you do is pick that little ring, the outside ring, the outside edge. And that, it, it's signage is in my way. Let me try that one more time. Chamfer, here, here, and here. Okay, done. That's it. Cool? cool. That's what the cow plow is probably the, I'm sorry, what do they call this thing? Cow catcher. Is probably the most annoying of all these parts. The rest you can build on your own. On Monday, I will show you how to do assembly. Okay? <coughs>